Good morning, dear students. I am Letha, your science teacher. Welcome back to your science class, chapter 6, Changes Around Us, part 3. Last class, we have already discussed the topics like contraction, expansion, and the changes coming after heating of a material. Hope all of you understood that topics well. Students, please watch all videos and go through the assignments and write correct answers in your own sentence and send it every Monday to me. In this chapter, we already learned slow and fast changes, reversible and irreversible changes. Today, we will learn our next topic, physical and chemical change. A change is said to be physical or chemical depending on whether new substances are formed or not. Now we will learn physical change. What is that? A change in which the physical properties of a substance changes and no new substances are formed is called physical change. For example, when ice melts, it changes into water. Here change is from solid to liquid state. We can convert water into ice by freezing it. Here we can observe the change from the liquid to solid state. Similarly, the change of water into water vapor on boiling and condensing of this water vapor back to water on cooling are changes of state. Here no new substances are formed. These changes are also reversible. In a physical change, a substance undergoes changes only in its physical properties like its shape, size, color and state. Then we can say some characteristics of physical changes are First, the physical properties of the substance changes during this change. Second, no new substances are formed. Third, it is a temporary change. Fourth, small amount of heat is absorbed or released during this change. Other examples of physical changes. Number one, tearing paper into pieces. Second, stretching a rubber band. Third, conversion of ice into water and vice versa. Fourth, glowing of an electric bulb. Fifth, dissolution of salt or sugar in water. Sixth, expansion and contraction of metals. Seventh, inflation and deflation of a balloon. Next, chemical change. What is that? The changes in which the nature of substances changes are called chemical changes. A change in which one or more new substances are formed. For example, burning of a candle is a chemical change. Why? After burning, it produces carbon dioxide and water vapor. The wicks or thread burns to produce smoke and ash. Here new substances are produced. Heat and light energies are given out during this change. This change cannot be reversed. Next example is photosynthesis in plants. You know what is photosynthesis. Plants are preparing their own food. During this process, plants manufacture food with the help of carbon dioxide and water is another chemical change. The product is simple sugar which is different from both carbon dioxide and water. Here energy is released. The change is also irreversible. Then what are the characteristics of chemical changes? First one, a chemical reaction takes place in between two or more substances. Second, new substances are formed with different properties. Third, it is a permanent change. Fourth, it cannot be reversed, means it is an irreversible change. Fifth, a large amount of heat is either absorbed or evolved during this change. Other examples of chemical changes. First, changing milk into curd. 
second digestion of food third cooking of food fourth rusting of iron fifth burning of incense stick what do you understand by rusting of iron you have noticed iron objects like iron nails or iron gates covered with reddish brown or dark orange colored substance it is called rust r u s t rust how is it formed when iron objects is left exposed to moist air it chemically reacts with oxygen and water in the air to form a powdery substance iron oxide which we call rust changes are constantly taking place around us some changes are natural some are man made natural changes are change of seasons growth germination etc but some man made changes are burning of wood or plastic melting of a candle etc some changes are desirable we need that changes for example growth of a plant or growth of a living organism then changing of seasons but some changes are undesirable example pollution it is an undesirable change it causes rapid change in the natural climatic conditions on the earth due to undesirable human activities now i have completed this chapter please write down the following questions question number 1 differentiate between physical and chemical changes then question number 2 give two examples of man made changes thank you have a nice day